Good morning, Hammers. Welcome back to Orange United for a little opposition report on Brighton and Hove Albion. Obviously, we have them on Saturday. Uh, the dust has settled after uh, the game against City where we were dropped 5-0. I think the manner of the defeat is the most frustrating thing for West Ham fans. Um, you know, we knew how tough it was going to be. Started the first 25 minutes really, really well. And then from there on in, it just kind of went a bit pear-shaped. Um, especially in the last 25 minutes to concede three goals in the way we did was, was really disappointing. Um, you know, and we've been on the end of a couple of bashings from City over the years now. 4-0, 4-0, 4-1, 5-0. It's really, really disappointing. And uh, now we go to Brighton on Saturday, who've just beaten Watford 3-0 at Vicar Ridge Road and they're somewhat of a bogey team for us we really seem to struggle against them for some reason or the other I can't really get my head around it um, you know they've got Glenn Murray up top who just loves to score against us uh, Locardia played up top for them against Watford with Murray and they cause problems um, at the back they've got Duncan Duffy the big strong centre backs uh, Ale is going to have his hands full to try and get past them and I hate to say it, but it's kind of a must-win game for us because you don't want to start a season slowly like we did last season. Um, look what that ended up doing to us, being bottom of the league after four games, zero points. It's just not the ideal way to start. And if we were to lose or drop points against Brighton on Saturday, it just puts us in a really, really tough position uh, for the rest of the season. Personally, I think we've got enough in the tank to get a result. Uh, whether Pablo Fornells comes back into the side is a question in itself. Um, hopefully, Pablo can come in. I think he's struggling a bit with fitness. We've got to put our best foot forward. Um, they're going to be a big physical side. They've obviously got Neil Mope up front as well. He's not really the biggest character, but he, he got a goal uh, on his debut for them. Um, he's obviously signed for them from Brentford. And they're going to be full of confidence. I like their manager, Graham Potter. I think he's underrated. I think he's... I uh, really, really like the way he goes about his business. I uh, was last at Swansea and Osterson's before then. And he's just a humble manager that wants, that wants to do well. Um, they've upgraded their style of play because under Hewton they were really, really defensive and almost got them relegated. But they've just put three past Watford who are a really, really good side and had a great season last season. So we're going to have to be at our best, there's no question about it. We are going to have to be at our best on Saturday. And I really, really hope the lads put in a shift. Uh, we've got no excuse not to go there and really, really give up our all and try to get a result. So, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling confident. I think we're going to turn it around after the City um, demolition. I think Ale is going to get his first goal. I hope Pablo Fanals is fit enough to start. Um, and yeah, we've got to dominate the midfield. Uh, we've got to be at it for more than 25 minutes. You know, we've got to really, really give up our all. I think masawaku has got to come in at left back. I was really, really disappointed with Chris Hall's performance. I don't think he's a captain of West Ham United. I just can't see that. Uh, never have, never will. So masawaku has got to come back for me at left back. I know he's not the ideal replacement, but he does a job. Um, and he's definitely got more pace. You know, Brighton got some quick players out wide. Uh, look what Walker did to Cresswell on Saturday. It was, was, a, it was a joke, actually, how far behind he was. And still got to the ball first and crossed for Jesus' first goal. So, yeah, let's go to the Amex. Safe travels to all the Hammers. And hopefully we can get all three points. Come on, you Irons!